Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I will be reviewing everything that was covered today in DevStream 65. Today we were joined by Fusithia, Mihail Ringer, a technical designer, and Sweet Tsunami, another technical designer. These two are the people responsible for adding features and mechanics into the game, and both of them have done incredible work in the past. Specifically, Mikhail works on UI and shelter features, while Sweet Tsunami has worked on gun balance. <laughs> Starting off, Sweet Tsunami quickly explained why kill credit cannot be given to radiation grenades. Both from a technical standpoint, as to physically code that would be close to physically impossible, as if two rad nades are put in one area, how do you decide who gets kill credit? But also from a balancing standpoint, as the point of rad nades isn't to kill players, but rather they get area control. The talk on rad nades resulted in the idea from the community of irradiated zones with boosted loot. Devs thought this was an interesting idea that would fit in with the game, however stated that this can be practically achieved by just radnating a POI. Continuing, Mihail addressed the loot overhaul, as a player asked why the overhaul has destroyed loot focus points like Lost Patrol. Mihail has stated that the overhaul was required in order to make the game more fair, and balance, redistribution, and that entire system just had to be overhauled, as it wasn't really working properly from a code standpoint beforehand. Once again, stupid commenters mentioned melee, and happily, this time they were ignored. They then followed up with stupid statements about noob shield because people still have issues figuring out why they are dying. From there, the commenters inquired about drop shotting, which for Cethia stated is not an ideal mechanic, but didn't really say anything more on the matter. Next, Mihail was asked about proxy chat, and he stated in a statement that I would personally agree with, that proxy chat would add more toxicity and create more community issues, with Alex adding that the physical act of adding proxy chat would be pretty difficult, it would be pretty impossible for the devs. Um, there really wasn't anything else of major note that I saw, so that's really all I've got for you today. It was an interesting dev stream filled with jokes and entertainment, but until the next one, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.